thing I'll do today is making up this filler plate to fit um, inside of the hull. Um, that's going to sit around the top of the prop tube. And this follows the profile of where the bulkhead meets uh, the centre line of the um, hull. Now, what I'm going to use this one for initially, I mean, it will be, be completely welded in after, but I'm going to use this just for positioning. So I'm going to tack weld it to the tube and then tack weld it to the uh, bulkhead to keep the inside or the forward end of the tube um, in place to stop it moving. start um, placing the filler plates around the tube on the inside. So we'll get going with that and see how it comes out.
and it was was a little bit of um, I wouldn't say concern, but I wondered whether welding this tube might um, the heat as it expands and contract cools down might uh, make this tube go out of round. It's a pretty it's a pretty hefty tube, even if you look from where it's machined down to this end, but from that end there it's even thicker. And that would have to be oh, eight, eight, ten mil tube wall, eight, ten mil wall. So we'll see. Once I've welded it in place around the outside and put the filler plates around the inside um, and finished completely welding this up, I'll let it cool down to normal ambient temperature and then I'll check the, uh, the bores each end with a vernier caliper and I'll check it in about, I don't know, eight positions all the way around just to see if there's much variation, whether it's gone oval or not, but I don't think it will. Um, hopefully not anyway. Forever Okay, having a quick look at the internal forward end of the prop tube you can see that's pretty much in place now and um, I've welded some heavy duty 6mm filler plates around that um, that'll keep it nice and solid there won't be any movement or flexibility in that I wouldn't imagine um, I've checked the alignment it's pretty much spot on so that's really good I'm happy with that what I did come up with is underneath and I'll just see if I can zoom in a little bit underneath I did add a bit of a gap under there where I'd Around the um, the profile bar leading down to that way. So what I did was cut some wedges and slid them in a nice tight fit, and then I welded the wedges top and bottom and around the forward end of it. And I did that on both sides of the tube. So not only is it uh, welded nice and heavily through the bulkhead, but it's also welded to the 
um, the profile bar underneath there. Alright, that's it. We'll nip outside in a moment and have a quick look at the um, external fitter plates on the uh, aft end of the prop tube. Okay guys, just a quick um, update. Uh, I'm actually going away later on this week for uh, a 10 day holiday. We're off to um, do some camping around the Northern Territory um, and do a bit of exploring in our new camper. So just to wrap up for the moment to uh, bring everybody up to date. <clears throat> there won't be any more videos for a couple of weeks um, as I'll be away, but I uh, just want to let you know where I'm up to. So as you can see, there's the filler plates. They're all fully welded in around the prop tube now. Um, but that's as far as I've got with this part of the project up until today. Um, like I said, I'll be away for a couple of weeks, so no activity, but once I get back, straight back into it, and um, in a couple of weeks, we'll get some more videos of uh, a further progress. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Um, and if you do like the videos, remember to subscribe. Click that bell below, and um, any, any feedback, please put it in the comments. It's all welcome, and I'll try to answer as much of, of that as I can. Okay, guys, thanks. See you later.